through security and now we show our boarding cards and go into the lounge. As you can see it's a pretty big lounge. The crew is boarding right down there at the end. We're gonna make our way down there towards the end also now. As Maro just pointed out, I think when uh, we checked in I said we were flying with the Orange Pride. And this is definitely not the Orange Pride plane. This is a normal... KL Asia. Oh, it's a KLM Asia. Yeah. KLM Asia for today. Let's see where we can make our way down into the lounge and find somewhere to sit or just stand and wait for boarding. We're going to be sitting for enough hours. And there we have our flight for today. Boarding should start at 20 past 11. <laughs> Just priority boarding at the moment. General boarding will take place afterwards. So on we go. Boarding has begun. We have rows 44, the back of the aircraft. I feel it's warm out here. You feel the warmth? The time is. 16 minutes past 11, so we did board a little bit earlier than usual. For change? Can't see the. Yeah, for a change. It's very nice. Now we're going on board our Boeing 777-200. You got my boarding pass there? Yep. There you have it. Hello! Last <laughs> board, Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, quite a lot of people up ahead of us, so I'll pause the video for a moment. There we go, just have a look at the business class while we're waiting. Those lovely, comfortable seats we always dream about. There we go, I think this is the economy comfort. Let's check how much of the front row seat here had nice leg room. And a nice window also. That could have been worthwhile the front row. I remember that for another time. Yeah. Down we go. For economy comfort. Just normal economy class. And we're just following Maro along. On our little feet as we go. Hello, good evening. Down to the very end. We go. Through our little space. Our two seater. <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> yes, look at that, lucky us. <laughs> Here we go, two very happy travellers, we've got our two seater. And there we have the window view for the evening, and another window right next to me on my left. As you can see the seat, should be able to go back a little bit also. The lights were on in the seat, so Manu's just turning them off. Lights on, lights off. Yeah, it also went off. The mine also. It's a full flight today. Lights off, yes. And there we go, much better. Maro's just checking all her the video options, movie options for the flight. I think it's why we'll stick to Patrick. Patrick? Yeah, with a little puck. <laughs> On the way here, what's the Andrea Bocelli? Oh, let's see. Let's watch this way. When the flight begins, we are very happy to be sitting here at the back seats of the plane. Oh, yes. But I must tell you that it does have a hint of a piss smell, excuse my wording. But it, we can smell it down here in the back. There are about three lavatories just behind us, but I really appreciate the two seaters. So I take the piss smell anytime. Yes. Not to have anybody next to me. But pardon our language. <laughs> What I found. We'll talk about this a little bit later. Mine is fancier. Very nice. My name is Van Overvest, and I'm the gezagvoerder on board of this Boeing 7. Sounds like the captain is welcoming us aboard. We're not looking at the camera or anything like that. We're trying to look as natural as possible. Here we have the in-flight safety video. Please pay attention to every detail. Small and 
electronic devices may be used at all times when set to airplane mode and secured in your hand or pocket. Larger devices, such as laptops, should be stowed before a taxi take off and landing. Whenever the seatbelt sign is on, your seatbelt must be fastened. For your own safety, keep your seatbelt fastened and visible during the flight. We encourage everyone to read the safety on board card located near your seat. At KLM Royal Dutch Airlines, we care about every little detail of your flight safety. If you have any questions, our cabin crew is here to help you. Thank you for your attention. Pushback has begun. Nice view of that Malaysia Airlines Boeing 777. There we have KL Airport, C-34 over there. It's a big, looking like an Emirates A380 over there with some kind of special design, special livery, as you can see. Expo 2020. Take your seats. Highways Boeing 777 over there in the back. It's a very slow taxi. There must be an aircraft in front of us also. Looks like this is the runway. Ready. You have the microphone on. Microphone is on. And here we go. It's very quick to taxi to the runway. Quite loud, so sorry about that. Just one. 
they said the temperature is quite cold in the cabin. I was for the first time ever using the blanket on the flag. You also used it for the first yeah, time. It was quite cold. Oh. So there you have it, the blanket and the pillow. I'm just going to relax a little bit now with Maro. Choose a movie to watch and have a drink. Maybe have some little snack. Not that we're hungry, either of us, I can promise you that. We had quite a meal at the lounge yeah. before we went to the airport. But we'll do, I'm actually quite thirsty. I'd love something to drink. It'd be nice if we could get that soon. Anyway, we'll see you just now. Looks like some water bottles are being passed out now. Mano just pulled down her, her tray. See, that's a double foldable tray. It's nice because we have only half of it. Yeah. We have the cup holder on it too. Is there a cup holder on the other? Yes. Yeah. Two cup holders. It's quite a nice table. And can you yeah. move it backwards and forwards? Yeah. As I always say, if you've been on holiday and you've got more, a bigger belly than normal, there's space to move around. My belly's fine. Your belly's fine. My belly, even though I've been on a diet and lost quite a few kilos, I put quite a few kilos on on this trip also. But I have to lose them in the next few months. Yes. Guess I better get my table down too. just received a bottle of water. Fonan water. Where is it from? Is that Swiss? Maro, can you check if that's Swiss or where it's from? We also received a headset. Neither of us needs it. I just took it to show you so you could see what the headset looks like. We got to use our mobile telephone. French water, Maro says. We got to be using our mobile telephone headsets as you can see the hole fits for them but if Mara will just open this very quickly for us you can have a look at what the headset provided by the airline free of charge it is free of charge what that looks like put it up on the light here Mara please that's what it's looking at I'll zoom in a little, a little bit pretty much the same as a mobile phone headset and as said it's provided free of charge by KLM we have a little bit of flight information. Estimated time of arrival 5.50 a.m. It's 5.31 p.m. at the destination at the moment. 12 hours, 19 minutes to go. Worth noting with the in-flight entertainment system is there's multiple languages you can view the, the system in. You should see them running along the bottom. I can't read them all out to you. Got a good selection of languages. Mano is going for it here on her water. She's quite the fond of the water. Remember that the microphone's under my so you have to speak into my neck. Yeah. Who are you telling? I'm telling that it's good to have these last teas because the water and all the snacks are just behind you if you need the water bottle. Yes. In the middle of the flight. Yeah, good seats. It's almost time for me to put my jersey on. Uh, yeah, it gets a bit cold. Yeah. I've got my rocky hoodie on. And this helps me sleep well. I just pull it over. Sure, it does. And then I have nap time. Hello there. This is the way I flew to Kuala Lumpur. Not because I wanted to be cool or anything like that. It was just because it was very cold on board. So it was my way to keep warm. We're just using Maro's map because we can't get my map to work. But outside there's a lot of green lights. Let's see if I can zoom out on them. There you should be able to see the green lights I was talking about. And Maro and I both agree that those green lights are probably fishing boats. No food's come yet. The special meals have been served. So a slight bit of turbulence. Mano started up her movie. She also put a blanket on. Because just like the trip here, it's already pretty cold here in the aircraft. Enjoy your movie. Looks like they're slowly beginning to serve food. It's going to be coming from the front first. I'm pretty exhausted to even eat. But we do want to make this food review for you. 
So keeping my eyes open, after that I'll promptly put a movie on and probably fall asleep straight away. So Maro's responsible for showing you the dinner today. Okay. Yeah, we have our cutleries, fork, knife, spoon, yep. salt, pepper, toothpick, Very important. always good. Yeah. It's a lovely little box. Crackers. Let a sec. There we go, I can see the crackers. Margarine. That looks like a cheese down there. Yeah, a little soft cheese, spread cheese. In ball foods. Yeah. Right. Then we got a nice warm bun. Is it warm? Yeah. All right. Sal like salad. Maybe you can take the lid off. Looking a little bit like Asian style salad. Right. Nice looking salad. With the noodles. Oh, noodles. I don't feel like noodles today. Noodles and carrot right. and sesame seeds. And nice the main dessert. Main meal. It was not breakfast like Max thought. No. It's warm meal with a chicken. Mm. Well, I've eaten so much chicken in Malaysia, but that's looking very nice. Yeah. It's nice like a presented. pineapple. Pineapple and. We can just get the. I probably filmed my own one where I won't get so much shadow. Mm. Try chicken and pineapple and a lot of rice. Yeah. I think a little bit too much rice in my opinion. Yeah. For compared to the meat. Yeah. Should we quickly have a look at the dessert? Yeah, I close this again so I'm not getting yes. totally cold meal. Let's see, Maro has another Ooh. South African nice. wine over there. It's a nice looking dessert. Nice looking chocolate layer cake. Chocolate layer cake, as Maro says. Over there. Looking Maro, nice. Maybe if you pull the lid off my main meal, we can have a better look at it. There we go. Hey, I've got even less, even less chicken than Maro. Here, right? here is your headset. As I was saying, I got even less chicken than Maro here. Like two pieces of pineapple and three pieces of chicken. I'm not going to eat much. I'm not that hungry. But uh, I, once again, I think the rice is a little bit over dominant in this dish. Well, let's eat and then enjoy. Maro is just catching a few photos here for her, for our Facebook and Instagram. We did forget to show the white wine, the elements by Julie, Julian Shaw. I just chose to have a soda sparkling soda. Should I try the salad? Yeah. Mm. It's good. Nice with the sesame seed. I think it has also sesame oil. You can very, eat the noodles. Very tasty. I do. Mm. I like it. Good for you. Mm. Very fresh. Yeah. I just better open this serviette up first of all so I can get my knife and fork out. Almost sent my soda flying there, ah, as you could see. Good. And I'm just going to eat the veggies here. See. Very fresh with the sesame seeds. Yeah, I think the sesame oil also. Mm. A lot of noodles. Too bad. Quite nice, huh? I just tried some of that chicken. It's not too bad. But as I said, I'm not that hungry, so it's not going down as well as it normally would. Maro's still enjoying that. Let me try yours or something. Yeah. Maro's about to try a chicken dish. You like it? I've had chicken every morning for the past two and a half weeks. I'm pretty tired of chicken, but it's, it does look good. 
Pineapple and chicken are both very tasty. I like them. We can have a better look at it from here. Yeah. Pineapple and nice. chicken and rice. Nice. That was quite a mouthful there. It goes down well. Yeah, I left some rice, some noodles. I don't eat my bun, but my little crackers I'm gonna eat. With some cheese. KLM flight. Looks like this margarine is Chinese. First time I've seen a Chinese margarine. Yeah. If it is that. Greenmaster.cc. What else the CC would be? Yeah. Huh? I reckon Maro, if you grab the camera, I'll try the dessert. Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. It's just over here. I'm just going to have a taste of it and then I'll leave it and I'm just going to take a little pretty soft I can feel comes up very easily I must say I just had a huge slice of Sasha cake in the club lounge so normally I would be actually very good uh, looking nice it's tasting good uh, don't mind thumbs up from me on that one yeah. I might even finish it I wasn't supposed to turbulence shaking from side to side also eating the bun it's funny I think this is the first time I see margarine in the air of producer it's butter it's normally butter yes I can just show you that I did leave it quite a lot of behind the rice the bun the salad the cake I definitely ate it was so good left behind the margarine I actually didn't. I, I got a president. Oh, margarine. Okay. I got butter. Maybe you want that. That's butter. Yeah, I got butter and Maro got margarine. That's a bit funny. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. There we have dinner. We'll be back in a moment when we have a coffee and tea. I'm not going to have coffee and tea, but Maro will probably have it. So now we both basically finished with our meal. Then comes the next test on board one of these economy class flights is how quickly do they come and fetch the trays again. I like them to come quickly so that we can have free space if we want to go to the laboratory and that kind of thing. The last, the last few flights we've been on have cleared the trays very quickly. So I hope it's the same case today with the KLM cabin crew. Well, I want them to come quickly with the coffee so I can have my pudding. Pudding, pudding, pudding. Maro's there ready with the tray to give it to give it to the cabin crew member. Nice designs there on the trolley. Dutch porcelain. 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 Dinner's over. Just gonna close this one. 
quite nifty compared yeah. to the old style. Lock, lock. Yeah, you don't have to. there's no latchet you have to turn. Uh, dinner's been cleared away. Mara's got a blanket over her. Tables are folded away. Uh, I think I'm gonna put my hood on. Maybe I'll plug my earphones into the into the system, but right now I'm gonna have a little nap. You're gonna watch your film? Yeah. As you can see, the seat in front of Maro is right down. There's still relatively space enough. The screen can be moved up and down. Yeah. What are you watching? Well, I'm watching Patrick. The little dog. The dog I started it already, so hopefully it remembers. Watching Patrick, she's already started it, so she's hoping it'll pick up where yeah, she left okay. off. Anyway, exactly. enjoy yes. your movie. I will. I'll see you later. Yes. see us a little bit better we probably look like two ghosts here and I think in just a moment I'm gonna take you for a little laboratory tour we have a little snack pack some drinks over there so here we are I was just showing you the snack pack out there which is free of charge for all passengers it was a little bit dark so I couldn't really film it properly as I mentioned, the time is 20 past 8 in the morning, local time in Kuala Lumpur. And here we are for our little laboratory tour of the Boeing 777-200. Today I've sort of checked the toilet, so it's not dirty while I'm filming. I haven't used it personally, so whatever's there is not me. But uh, let's start here with the lovely big mirror and show you the toilet. And there we have the nice wooden look floor, like most triple sevens are having nowadays. You can see the flush button over here. And then we have the toilet seat cover, which is always good for the hygiene. We've got some tissues. I suppose that's for babies, for baby changing table, which is tucked in here into the mirror. This is what it looks like. Goes over the toilet. We have a nice little cartoon kind of a KLM plane to entertain the baby while it's being changed. So a very convenient handle here in case there's turbulence while you're out here. Have a look at the basin. Some hand soap. A roll of toilet paper. Look how the 
have to press it. It's not an automatic water, so you have to hold it to get the water out. It's a plug, universal plug for, I suppose, for a razor, a dirt pin. We just work our way under a little bit. There's a cabin crew calling button and two rolls of toilet paper here. Coat hanger, no smoking signs, and the latch closing in that direction locks the door and automatically turns on the light. And there we have the ashtray. And there we have a little tissue paper. But that was a little tour. When it gets a little bit lighter in the cabin, I'll do some more filming. But uh, yeah, see you back in the seat. Here's a quick look at the lavatory area. There are, I think, three lavatories, two here, one on the other side. And the other toilet in the dark area. So there you go, that was the tour of the lavatory. As you can see, it's very dark in the plan. I couldn't show you much without the infrared. But I think I'm going to join Maro here and put a movie on. I'm quite keen to watch the new Alien vs Predator. So, see you in a few hours when they hopefully turn the lights on or we can see something out of the window. I was just thinking to myself, the one thing we can do here in the darkness is have a look at the in-flight entertainment system. Let's have a look, a very brief look at, at uh, the different functions available. See here, it's a category section. Highlights, movies, TV, music, games, kids. There's even a chat function so you can chat with each other in different seats. My flight, that's where the maps are also, and the arrival information, that kind of thing. My maps are unfortunately not working. About KLM, favorites, you can favorite movies, so you can have a group of movies ready to watch and shopping. Not sure. my predator now. Still not enough light to properly show the leg room here. But we've been pretty well positioned here now. Two-seater. Just a moment I'm going to show you the table tray of the duty-free magazines and the other stuff that's found here in the holder. It's quite a nice new kind of tray. There's no latch on it. You just pick it here and it opens. Let's grab the Safety car, pretty crumpled. Maro, do you, have, do you have a better one than this one? Mine's also very crumpled. Is yours crumpled also? Yeah, they've seen better days. But anyway, here's the safety on board for the Boeing 777-200. The car it looks like. Definitely seen better days, as I mentioned. Not so detailed as many of the other safety on board cards I've been seeing recently. The sound in the background was the toilet flashing. That's how close we are to the toilets. Let's move on to the Holland, Holland Herald. Your copy to keep as it's written there. Somebody once wrote to me when I wrote or somebody once said when I said I took the copy with to the hotel that it was stealing. No it's not. These magazines are for you to keep. I don't know whether you can see it here. Your copy to keep. Anyway, let's have a look at this in-flight magazine, the Holland Herald. This is the in-flight magazine of KLM. There you have it. Where's your bath bag, Maro? My bath bag. I nearly need it after you fed me with the chips. There we go. Quite a beautiful bath bag. The traditional Dutch house. There's no ceiling on the top of it. But here you're bath in style. I nearly feel sorry that I didn't use it. Flight time left is about 1 hour and 37 minutes. Or about, it's 1 hour and 37 minutes to go. I'm not going to finish the movie. I think it's time for breakfast now. I must say this flight went very quickly. We slept for about six or seven hours. Yeah, again. And then when we woke up, we were somewhere over Kazakhstan. I think Kazakhstan. And uh, yeah, it's not long to landing now. 
Where are we now? Time to destination, 1 hour 37 minutes. 1 hour 37 minutes, we're flying over Russia now. Looks like that. No, 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 here is Tallinn. We are Poland, I think it is. There. Poland? No. Oh, white Russian, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I think that's, yeah, I think it's Russian. Russian. Just have to tell you that the two-seater here at the back of the 777-200 is very worthwhile. Yeah. There's only one row of two-seaters on each side of the aircraft, otherwise this aircraft is a three, three, four, three configuration. Here down in the end part it's a... In the middle is three, four, three. Three, four, three in the middle, but here in the end we have a three, 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 and here at the back we obviously are two, three, two. But as I said, only one row of those. Uh, we're lucky to get this. Very lucky to get these seats. I got these passed out in the cabin. Dutch Sturup waffles. Caramel. So we're going to take them home with us as a souvenir at some stage. We'll eat them. With a coffee. Yeah. Breakfast is just being served. Mara and I have received our breakfast over here. Oh, there comes some buns. Oh. There's a bun. Thank you very much. Thank you. Some nice hot bun. So we're heading towards Gdansk. Should be on our left. I don't see any lights out the window. Maro, should we show the viewers? Yes. The breakfast. Yeah, here we have fruit salad. Looking good. Sorry about the lights, we can't turn our seat lights on. Warm bun. Looks like they've been deactivated. Strawberry yogurt. One strawberry yogurt. Butter this time? President butter? And president butter is always nice. Yeah. Yes. And water? One mineral water. Natural mineral water. water and then they test what's under the cover here yeah. you, maybe you should get a photo of it before no we'll get it get a photo with it's open. yeah looks a little bit more interesting uh -huh. oh that's looking interesting nice looking sausage spinach potatoes Is that the first some oh. kind of tomato something over it it smells good yeah Let's get some photos and also. And of course we have the cutlery which you've already seen, which is packed nicely in that serviette yeah. together with the toothpick. I and don't open it yet because I need a photo. Yeah. There we go. We also just got a black coffee each. Maro also got an orange juice, which you already drank quickly. I'm looking forward to eating this sausage. So, go for it. Try? Yeah. I want a little bit of pepper. Are you having a fruit salad? I think I have that last. Yes? Should I try this? Yeah, then go for it. Try a little bit of sausage. Microphone in front of Mano, so you can hear what Nice you're sausage. Saying. How is it? Very nice sausage. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So I'm afraid of my coffee now. Yeah, I can see it's bouncing a bit. I think we better just hold them a little bit. Yeah, it is tomato sauce on the top of the omelette. Well, at that point, I think we'll, we'll leave you here for a moment because it's a little bit bouncy at the moment. We don't want coffee all over our laps. I'm going to drink a little bit. So yeah. it's not so I'm just gonna open the cover very quickly. Also have a little taste of it. You can hear my opinion. Taste the tomato part first. It's like an egg under. Mm. It's nice. Some tomato kind of thing. It's like a factory made scrambled egg. Okay, not too bad. A little bit of spinach. Mm. 
spinach is always good. Sausage? Some kind of chicken sausage. I reckon. And then, right there, potato. Just dip in a little bit of tomato. Oh no, I'm good. Look at the size of the egg. Yeah. Two triangles of egg. Your spinach is hanging nicely out. Of I it. see that. So let's eat. Yeah. This breakfast is actually not bad at all. A very nice mix of, yeah. of everything. How's your bun? It's probably the last piece of bun for me for a long time. Yeah. Get back to the low carb. Back to low carb. Back to my own. Well, I almost totally finished my meal. It was very good. Considering I only picked at the dinner. Maro's left a few potatoes and some omelette there. Now she's about to have a yogurt. It was quite a nice yogurt. Very fruity. Very fruity. Good, isn't it? Very nice. Yeah. I can tell you that it's still very dark outside. We're landing at five something, so the sun's not yeah, so the sun's not even coming up. We are in winter here in northern Europe. So I'll do my best to film out the window, the landing, but you're not gonna see very much, I don't think so anyway. Just passing Denmark now and about 59 minutes to go. I'm not looking at the camera, it's specifically made so that, I'm just checking that I'm here, <laughs> specifically made so we're looking natural, we just, we're not looking at the camera, we're just looking straight ahead, Very natural. there's some third, third party person filming us somewhere. Thanks for flying with us. If you're enjoying this trip report and our other trip reports, please remember to leave us a like down below. It does motivate us to make more of these trip reports. They take a long time to edit. They take a long time to film. You have to be awake quite a lot also. If you haven't subscribed to our channel already, please do so. And if you want to see more of our trip reports, go over to our airline trip report playlists. You might also be interested to watch some of our airport videos. I'll leave a link to them down below in the comment section. I'll pin it down there so you can find it. Anyway, let's continue with the flight. I can see some city lights down below. You probably can't see it. I'm just going to film it anyway, just in case. You're probably seeing more reflection from the inside of the cabin. That's what I'm trying to show you. How are we doing on the map here? We can zoom it in a bit. Bremen. That's also a nice place to visit, yeah. I think. I've heard of that. Yeah. Just about 30 minutes to go now. There's a fairy tale about Bremen. Piper. Is that where the pipe Piper came from? Yes. Ah, I see. Okay. Maro always fascinates with those That's juicy fun. pieces of information. <laughs> I can't remember if I showed just how nifty this tray is. Basically. And we it's done. that already at least two times. I'll tell the viewers, I'm just trying to make a little bit of extra fill for the video. She always ruins it. But I can say now, looking out the window, we can see some lights out there. We have begun our descent down towards Amsterdam Schiphol. Can anybody hear Maro there next to me? See 30 the minutes left. Microphone is over here. She's over there. 27 minutes left. 27 minutes left. Let's have a look out the window quickly. Just 
whole lot of lights. About 17 minutes left to go now before we land in Amsterdam. I wish I would turn the lights off so we could see something on the win windows. Marlo is just showing us the trip where we where we uh, where we just made and where we slept from. Well, we slept somewhere after Phuket, I believe. Yeah. And we woke up in the Caspian Sea, so in Turkmenistan. Turkmenistan. I said that we woke up in Kazakhstan. I was wrong. Kazakhstan is further up. Actually, we woke we woke up in Turkmenistan on the last flight, also from yeah. Asia. Yeah. Not Kazakhstan. No. And where are we now? Now uh, we are. Cabin crew, prepare for landing. Very close to land. We couldn't have said it better. Marlo's just checking our gate number for our connecting flight. Oh. We have a connection flight to Copenhagen, but no information is available. Oh. It's pretty much looking like we're coming up on Amsterdam now. So when the lights go off for landing, we should be able to see a little bit more. As I said, the seatbelt signs are on. No smoking sign is always on big highway down there and here comes the city looks like we slightly banking to the right now lights just went out so we should be able to see a little bit more this must be one of the suburbs where up to them five in the morning already a lot of traffic on the roads captain just told the cabin crew to take their seats Getting closer now. Here we go. Not far now. Nice approach. It's a little bit cloudy and misty here. A little bit bumpy also. There was a heavy storm here where planes were redirected yesterday at Amsterdam Schiphol. So but the storm should be over now. Even though it is a bit bouncy here. The airport. Well, we are rocking a little bit from side to side. Feels like it should be a smooth landing. Almost there now. And touchdown. It's a smooth landing. Here we are, back in Amsterdam again. There's a lot more to see here now. The Delta Airlines, indeed it is. Some Transavia aircraft over there. It's the aircraft we're going to be flying with next from here to Copenhagen. Cabin crew, these are the slides. Here we are at our gate. So I said it's been a good flight. Gonna walk out the aircraft now and we'll end the video. The trip report. Those of you who are going to see the rest of the video, the transfer through Amsterdam Airport, keep watching. Or it'll be on a separate video. Let's see how we make it. But those of you who've been watching this trip report, thanks so much for watching. We'll end off as we're walking out of the aircraft. While we wait 
need to disembark. I can quickly show you these head vests. As you can see, there's a lever on them. It goes up and down. And you can also bend them to fit the shape of your head. Very easy to bend. As I said, up and down. Look at the seat. <laughs> bit of a hard seat. Nara likes her because it's a little bit low, so her feet can reach the the ground easier. You can see the people are starting to move. So I'll put the camera down and we'll get a move on soon. There we go. Nara is leaving the way out. And such a friendly staff on board. Also wishing us a good film trip report. So here it is. Put him out out. Along the way here. There you go. Thank you very much. Have a good weekend. Oh, no weekend. Good week. <laughs> it's a bit early. Yes, enjoy it. <laughs> Quite a big economy class section. As you can see it's a four, four in the middle, three by the windows. Spacious, and here's the economy extra. You see, the space is not that much more space. If you want good space, it must be the front seat. Here comes to business class. That is spacious and lovely. And off we go. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Looks like it's been raining here. Mara was leading the way. And well, we can say a little goodbyes when we come over here. To all of you watching our video. It's a lot cooler here. You feel you're not in Malaysia.